This work explores the use of Monte Carlo sampling for tomographic image reconstruction with application to the quantification of the uncertainty of tomographic images, adaptive imaging and risk-based reconstruction. A tomographic imaging device produces an indirect measurement of a spatially dependent quantity. In positron emission tomography, the interaction of photons with the array of detection crystals provides information about the rate of nuclear decay. Let us indicate with vector-valued variable x the unknown rate of emission and with vector-valued variable y the photon counts. Under the assumption that positron emission tomography operates in the photon-limited regime, the probability distribution associated to y conditional to x is a product of Poisson functions. The acquisition of y and prior information define the posterior probability distribution that describes the state of knowledge about the unknown rate of emission x. In the context of tomographic imaging, the research community has focused on the development of algorithms to compute the best guess of the unknown parameters under the maximum likelihood and maximum a posteriori point estimation criteria. Maximum a posteriori estimation consists in finding the value of the rate of emission that maximizes the posterior probability distribution. For tomographic imaging, the state of the art consists in utilizing a gradient type optimization algorithm such as MLEM. Rather than computing the maximizer, the fully Bayesian approach aims to characterize the whole space of the solutions. The computational complexity of the fully Bayesian approach has hindered its application in high-dimensional problems that present strong non-local interdependence of the parameters, such as tomography. We introduce a strategy that enables sampling from the very high-dimensional probability distributions that arise in tomographic imaging. The samples are generated using a Markov chain, obtained with the Metropolis-Hastings method. Iteratively, new candidates are generated according to a proposal distribution and accepted or rejected according to the Metropolis-Hastings criterion. The proposal distribution is based on the technique known as hybrid Monte Carlo. The technique consists in introducing a variable c of the same dimensionality of x, independent from x, and normally distributed with covariance m, also denominated mass matrix. A new sample is obtained by sampling from the auxiliary variable c and moving along the isocurve of the joint probability distribution of x and c by integrating the Hamiltonian equations. The choice of mass matrix is based on the recent formulation by Mark Chirolami and Penn Calderhead. The Fisher information matrix constitutes a piecewise constant approximation of the metric tensor of the Riemann structure of the parameter space, constituting a natural choice for the inverse of the mass matrix providing transitions of the chain that respect and exploit the geometry of the manifold with the effect of increasing the performance of the sampler, enabling sampling in high dimensions. In tomographic imaging, the Fisher information matrix is too large to be evaluated numerically and stored in memory. However, the spatial organization of the parameters allows for approximations. Assuming periodic boundary conditions, the Fisher information matrix is well approximated by a block circulant matrix with circular blocks. The Fourier diagonalization properties of block circulant matrices enables efficient inversion and low memory footprint. A healthy volunteer was administered 170 megapecquerel of fludeoxyglucose and scanned for 60 minutes with a Siemens Biograph MMR scanner. The list mode data was binned into three sinograms of 20, 40 and 60 minutes. 5,000 samples were drawn for each of the three measurements. The samples of the posterior can be used to quantify and visualize the uncertainty associated to the tomographic measurement. From left to right, the maximum a posteriori estimates, the mean of the samples and the sample variance for the 40 minutes acquisition. Take note of the voxel locations A, B and C, colored in red, green and blue. The plots that follow display the histograms of the posterior samples for voxels A, B and C for 20, 40 and 60 minutes of acquisition. The method allows one to capture the increase of information obtained by increasing the scanning time. The posterior sampling approach via Markov chain Monte Carlo enables us to approximate the integral over the posterior distribution as a finite sum over the samples, allowing the definition of arbitrary risk criteria.